So beef jerky is a staple in our household. It's the perfect snack for us when we go fishing together or hunting or four-wheeling or mud bogging. It's so easy just to take it and go. Uh, helps keep you full and it's perfect if you're on a keto diet. But we noticed within the past five years or so, the price of beef jerky has become astronomical and it's gotten to the point where we can't afford to buy it anymore. So my husband and I eventually got fed up and we figured out how to make it ourselves. And it's very easy, it doesn't take very long to do, and it's very cost effective. So let me go ahead and tell you guys a very easy way of how to make your own at home. So once a week we go to the grocery store and we try to find the thinnest sliced steaks that we can. This one was about a two pound package and I went and sliced it into thin strips like just like this. Now, all we have to do is add in the jerky seasoning and the cure. I usually use this brand here. We get it at the local hunting and fishing store. We can definitely get it off of Amazon. This one is the black pepper blend, which is really good. The mesquite is really good, but get whatever flavor you like. Now we don't follow the seasonings exactly like on the instructions because we found that adding too much of the cure made it so salty that you really couldn't eat it. It was bad. So what we did was for two pounds of meat, I do one tablespoon of the seasoning. Let me shake it on here. Now the cure is what's really salty, so we cut that back. We cut it back by about half than what's on the instructions. So for two pounds of meat, I add in four teaspoons of the cure. There we go. And I'm very unceremonious, so I'm just going to mix it with my hands it all together until all the pieces are covered with both the seasoning and the cure. Push my sleeve up a little bit so it doesn't get so dirty. There we go. All right, that looks good. Now you can definitely use this in an oven to dehydrate or you can use a dehydrator. We use our air fryer. Uh, we have the Emeril Lagasse 360 air fryer, which we can also use for dehydrating, it's perfect. So we have a little basket here that I'm going to put the meat on. Put in all the strips of meat, at least all the ones that I can fit. The great thing about dehydrating is just like with canning, after it's done, it will last forever. And since you can't, I don't have a pressure canner and I cannot water bath canned meat, I like to dehydrate it. A lot easier. There we go. Looks like I'm gonna have to do at least two batches to do all my meat, which is fine. If you have meat left over, like I'm going to, you can just put a lid on your container and put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to do the second batch. That's about as much as I can fit. All right, so I got all the meat that I could on here. So I'm gonna slip it into here. Now, depending on how much how you like your beef jerky, it's going to depend on how long you leave it in there. Um, my husband likes his still kind of chewy, but make sure it's done all the way. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. All right, please ignore the mess in my air fryer. I actually did just clean that out a couple of days ago, but I use it so often that it has to be done apparently more than that. All right, so I got my beef jerky here. I'm gonna slide it into the middle rack. There we go. What's up? Now I'm going to put this on dehydrate right there. Now I'm going to turn it as far as it can for the temperature, which is 175 on this air fryer. So 175. Now we found about six hours and 30 minutes was the sweet spot. So I'm going to turn it on and it started and we're going to check on it in about six and a half hours to make sure it's what we really want. All right, so the six and a half hours are up now. So let's open up the air fryer and see what we got here. That looks really good. All right, so here we go, fresh out the air fryer. We have our strips here. So here's the beef jerky strips here. You can see it's trying to dry it up a bit. See, they're all cooked through. Come apart like that, very good. So it's gonna be nice and chewy, a little hot. 
and it's really good. And this is exactly the way he likes them, where it's cooked all the way through, but it's still really chewy and pulls apart just like store-bought beef jerky. All right, again, if you want it a little bit crispier, you can always leave it in there. I usually don't let it go beyond seven hours cooking. After then, it should be perfectly fine, easy for you to eat. So I hope you guys try this at home. Make sure you check out the rest of my videos um, for homesteading for beginners. You can hit the subscribe button that we can stay up to date on all of them. Catch y'all later.